Welcome back to our channel, guys. Roger Gum said this was the world's best. What did he say it were? Greatest golf gizmo. Greatest golf gizmo. So say, we bought it. Say that three times quickly. <laughs> it's a sweet spot finder. And I've, I've heard about these before. And obviously yeah. Bryson, you know, he's probably, a, you know, he upset titles a few years ago, didn't he? By yeah, just a bit. Sort of sharing the fact that their balls weren't all balanced very well. And he were chucking some away. And obviously Callaway were infamous for it. Yeah. So we bought this to test a few golf balls. We've got a Pro V, we've got a TaylorMade Tour response. So we've brought some balls we're going to go and do a test with today. To see if yeah. we, you know, obviously you being a handicap golfer, me being as a, a golf club pro, whether we can tell any improvement in performance by putting lines on our golf balls, which you probably all do at home for putting, but yeah. actually putting the line on the centre of gravity line or, you know, the sweet spot line. Because what this is saying is, is that the core inside the balls aren't always perfectly centred. And that can change the way that the ball rolls or, you know, it spins in the air. So we're going to start off by, you know, showing you how this gadget works. And what will be quite interesting is once we've got a centre of gravity line, is to put the ball back in the machine to see if it finds that line again and see if it actually does, you know, what it says on the box. So this gizmo costs 29.99 off AliExpress and I'll put a link into the description if anybody is interested in buying one of these. So simply you need a couple of AA batteries, you've got a mark pen here and what you've got to do is press the button, it'll flash green and when it goes to a solid green you let go and you mark the ball so you put the pen through that hole there. Now we're going to use, just for a example we're going to use a tour response because a lot of people buy these balls because they've actually got an alignment on them but whether or not that alignment is being lined up you know with a sense of gravity of the ball we'll find out during this test so i'm going to put it a little bit off center and with this machine we're going to try and find the center of gravity and what we'll do is we'll retest it to see if it picks the same line twice so just make note of how smooth this ball is turning in this machine for when we show you something in a minute. So it's solid now, I should have got my tip off here. So that's our line, perfect line. We did this test with one of Dazza's balls out of his bag, didn't we, a minute ago? Just, yeah. you know, obviously before we got the camera roll, we put a line on the ball, but wait till you see this ball in the machine. And I think it's not only useful for checking the, the central gravity of the ball but after that test it's probably useful to see if your ball's actually round because it's uh, so right we've got the line so it's not the line that taylor may's put on here if it, look, this, if it this looks at 90 right, it looks at 90 degrees to the uh, yeah it roll couldn't line. be any cent it couldn't be any further off could it if i'm <laughs> being honest so we're going to put that offset now this line that it's chosen and let's see if it finds its center gravity line again The black line's moving. It's moving to the centre. We should be able to see it through this hole in a minute. I can see it through the gap here. Mm, that's not perfect, is it? No, slightly off. Shall we do that just once more? I'll tell you what we'll do, we'll put it right to the top, like that, so it couldn't be any further away from the centre of gravity line. Mm -hmm. right, let's try that again. I don't like that. You can see the see the black line here. It's kind of moving towards the centre as it's it's dropping and dropping. I mean, it's not a million miles away, it, but it's not the same. If I do it twice, then let's try it once more. Now it's obviously.
Look, it is working down. Maybe it just needed two spins. Look at that now. Look, look, it's perfect, nearly. Yeah, I can see it, yeah. So if I let go of that, you see how it's nearly, look, it's gonna make a thick line. I reckon we probably need to leave that on longer than the, the light's suggesting. Yeah, give it a chance to spin yeah. down to the middle again. That's nearly perfect. It seems to be as it's slowing down, that's when it yeah. seems to wobble. Yeah, maybe, maybe it were in line at its, when it was spinning its most, but maybe, maybe we're trying to do a test that's not proving anything because yeah. it probably as it's slowing down, it loses that centre of gravity again. It finds centre of gravity at the, when it's spinning its quickest. Yeah, because it rattled around a little bit at the start, but yeah. once it started spinning, it stabilised. It and then, stabilised and went back to centre. And then as it starts slowing down, it comes out... It's, Loses stability, I guess. Let's just show you this one. Um, this is Dazza's ball, which we put a mark on earlier. It's, how many rounds would you say that's had? I'm, I've never used it. Um, I get it off someone who charges me 50p a ball. Um, they've been found on the golf course. They're not lake balls, but with it, me losing a lot of balls, yeah. I'm reluctant to buy brand new. So this is a pond ball, guys. Now watch this. It just won't stay on there, will it? No, it's clearly it isn't round anymore. It's not round. So that's one that I reckon you'd have to put in the practice bag. Or I could just blend the ball if I slice it out of bounds. Yeah, is it, look at look at how... Or is it the fact that the, the inner core is so far off centre? Possibly, yeah. It could be that the, you know, the inner core of the ball, and that's probably one that Bryson would have chucked, isn't it? Yeah. Well, it is an AD triple three, so they are a cheap two-piece ball. Yeah. Right. Anyway, what we will do is on these next ones, these are the ones we're going to be testing out on the course today. Daz is going to be blind tester, so I don't want you to look at what the number is on these balls. We've got some yeah. number X's and number yeah. Y's. My eyesight isn't that good to see a number from here. And we're going to mark this, and I'll put on screen what number it is. And I'm going to just test again that centre of gravity line to see after we've marked it, when it's at its maximum speed, if it comes back to the centre of gravity. Because I think as it was slowing down, like you said, Daz, it wasn't, it, it lost the centre of gravity yeah. as it slowed down. Yeah. It's just a centrifuge, isn't it? So when it's spinning fast, it's gonna hold its centre of gravity. As soon as it slows down, it's yeah. gonna wobble. And I'm actually gonna put the mark on it while, while it's going its quickest. While my finger's still on the power, yeah. Right, so we're going to stop that. Don't need to let it run out, do we? Right, put that there now, and let's see if it moves back to centre when it's, when it's at its quickest speed. Are you just coming and zooming on this? Yeah. You can see the line yeah. moving down. I mean... Yeah, you can see as it almost stops, it starts wobbling. It's definitely... It's de I mean, that's gone from there to obviously finding that centre of gravity there. So I think it's pretty true to say it does what it says on the tin. In the middle. I had a brand new Pro V somewhere. Oh, it's here. It's fell out of my pocket. That one wasn't either, were it? We did that one earlier. But I never got to try it twice to see if it actually rebalanced. I'm sure it will, because all the others are, aren't they? I was trying to get that to fall into my pocket. There's one thing that I've read up about this. It says the better the ball is balanced, the least effective this machine is. 
So, you know, in terms of like, if it's already balanced, because if the centre of the, if the core is in the right place, this is irrelevant, isn't it? Because yeah. it'll be, have the centre of gravity, whichever way, whichever way you put the ball in. I would say based on that, the Pro V is actually core is very, very close to the centre, because this can't actually find. No, it's, it's close. You, you can see if the ones that are really off centre, it's going to be spinning off its axis and, and that's going to add left or right spin. Yeah, so the, these balls here, or take that one out, the Pro V, but them have all sort of had a clear centre of gravity line. That last brand new Pro V didn't come back to the centre, so that makes me suggest that the core's in the perfect place nearly. Yeah. And it's 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 centre of gravity line's perfect, if you know what I mean. Yeah, if you start in finishing, it stays in the same place. It's obviously spinning true. Yeah, but but if it's in the court, if it's in the centre, the centre of gravity will be consistent whichever way you hit yeah, the exactly, ball. Yeah, exactly. If you know what I mean. This is all about finding whether the golf ball's core is in the middle or not, basically. And I can't see anything happening. Do you know, the line's just not moving. But that comes back to quality control as well, doesn't it? Yeah. I certainly think there's something in this machine, whether it's just for finding that your ball's around and certainly to, you know, whether you... Whether the centre of gravity's been checked right. See, that, that can't do anything with that ball. It's perfect. Yeah, it stays. Wherever you put it in, it stays there. It just stays, yeah. Right, so this is probably more useful to guys that use more budget balls. Yeah. Uh, certainly, because obviously the the manufacturers, th th there's a reason there's a budget and they have to cut these sort of tests and time, don't they? And well, like I say, I've got those Strixons just as cheap winter balls because I, yeah. lose, I lose quite a lot of balls and I just thought, do you know what? I like to play nice balls in summer, but I don't have enough money, especially being out of work at the moment because of my injuries. Yeah. I don't have money to be throwing away four-pound balls in winter, losing them all fairways or under leads. Do you know what? I think, you're, I think you're right. I mean, anybody that buys pond balls or, you know, use balls, that's more useful. Yeah. Check that they're round and, f and then obviously put your central gravity line on them. Yeah, I mean, the bag I got, I got 40 of them in the bag. I'm going to basically do this last one, Daz, and we're going to get out there and blind test them with you yeah. to see if you can tell with putting when you line up. Do you actually use a line on your golf ball for putting? I do, yes. That's a good test for you then. So we've just been out to play a few holes, haven't we, with the yep. balls? And it were a bit of a blind test for Daz, because he didn't know whether we've marked number ones or twos. Um, do you know? Well, I ain't told you yet, have I? So we'll tell you the results first. I haven't got a clue which one's which. Well, number twos, off the tee, you generally got closer. Yeah. Chipping, you generally got closer. Putting, we probably said number ones, didn't we? Yeah, but it's my inconsistencies coming to play. It's my yeah. handicap. I'm not going to put the same swing on it, the same hit on it every single time. And, and the guys at home get that. You know, obviously you want to see the test with handicap golfers because you can relate to it, and that's what we bring into the channel. Um, but feel-wise, do you feel any difference between number ones and twos? No, not at all. Not at all. So the number two was the there's a, was a balance ball. Right. And the number one, which you actually put a better with, uh, was unbalanced. It just, maybe it wasn't that far out yeah. with the balance. I think the only way to conclude on is that it, 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 nothing will overpower, no. you know, obviously an open or a closed face or yeah. a miss strike. Um, I think it's safe to say actually balancing the balls with the machine earlier proved that it does find the balance point. It can identify balls that aren't round. Yeah, it we can, figured that one out, didn't we? It, it can identify <laughs> balls that the the uh, centre of gravity is way off. I think if, like for yourself, yeah. playing Pro V one forty five pound a box. Yeah. If you found them in there that weren't centred, that would be annoying and frustrating. It'd be disappointing. And it yeah. would make a difference to your game. Yeah. For me, myself, off 21 index, 23 round here. Yeah. You can give me a perfectly balanced ball with a perfect line on it. It doesn't mean I'm not going to hit it off the toe, off the heel, off. You know what I mean? I think to conclude, this is a machine that's probably for that person looking for them one percent. Yes. Yeah. It's yeah, for it's the person who's looking to get down to scratch from two or three. It's very marginal gains that we haven't seen any results from out on the golf course. But if you're, you know, up here, you want to make sure that all your equipment's very highly fine tuned. I think it's worth trying. I'd rather just play my equipment. Do you know what I would say though? Is the only thing I would say to conclude is if you if you are buying lake balls and pond balls yeah. and second hand balls, 
it is a good machine because your ball has to be at least round, yeah. Daz. Yeah. <laughs> well, the irony is, is we found out that ball wasn't round and then I still played with it anyway. Yeah, you did. You still played with it, but you, you pushed it right. Yeah, I did. And yeah. then pulled it left. <laughs> <laughs> All right, maybe a round ball helps. Guys, hope you've enjoyed that video. That was... Although I did learn my lesson to take it out after that first hole. That was a sweet spot balancer. Um, 29.99. I'll stick the link in there if you want to go and have a look at it online. Um, yeah, I mean, like I said, if you're a low handicap or wanted to get to scratch or you wanted to get from five down, I can see it well, making a difference. I'm going to keep it. I'm yeah. going to keep it. I'm going to line my balls up with it because I bought it now. Yeah. And rather than just using a normal alignment aid, I'm going to balance my balls. Why not? Yeah. You know, why not have them balanced and centre of gravity? It might not help me, but I'll, I'll feel better about my equipment and more organised. Yeah, well, like I say, I had the same put six times there and yeah. all six times it finished in a different place. Yeah. So, Clearly, that's me that's overriding anything that's in there anyway. Guys, we'll finish on that note. I know you've enjoyed, you're enjoying the videos, and uh, we'll see you in a couple of days' time at 2 o'clock. Bye.